Today on 45 TV, a double main event as Rudy Hell takes on the humble one, Damon Spriggle, plus JDX versus Alvin Falcone. Having problems with your car or engine? Then drop by Clearwater Auto Parts and Salvage. Motors and transmissions from the mid-90s to the mid-2000s. If they don't have it, they'll find it. They also offer a full service mechanic shop with ASC certified tech and will buy or pick up your junk cars at top dollar. Give them a call at 320-558-2462 today. Clearwater Auto Parts and Salvage. All makes, all models, and all years. Ordering with Playstick Companies is now easier than ever before. Just go to PlaystickCompanies.com and select your desired products. You can also use your mobile device to place an order from anywhere in the world. And then we take care of the rest. We offer everything from garden soils to road base, which we'll deliver right to your driveway or the location of your choice. Playstead Companies Online Ordering. Just one more way we're working for you. For over 40 years and three generations, Ferguson Equipment and Trailer Sales has been the name Southern Minnesota trusts for the best quality equipment, attachments, and trailers in the industry. Our customer satisfaction comes first, with our ability to manufacture and customize attachments to fit your ideal needs. Check us out online or swing into one of our two locations and let us help you find the right fit. Ferguson Equipment and Trailer Sales, we're here for the long haul. Kappa Tattoo, located in downtown Cambridge, Minnesota, voted Best Tattoo Studio at Sandy County two years in a row, specializing in a wide range of tattooing and piercing, custom design, or traditional art. Kappa Tattoo uses all natural organic products to ensure the best application and healing process available today. Test your fate with Kappa Tattoo's Tattoo of Destiny, a giant gumball machine with chances to win free tattoos. Visit kappatattoo.com for more info or stop by their studio anytime during business hours. Open seven days a week at noon to 8 p.m. Kappa Tattoo, get inked. Ready to witness the debuting Rudy Hell taking on thy humble one, Damon Spruggle in one-on-one -on -one action here. AWF on 45 TV, DJ Draper with Stonehenge. Interested to see how these two will contrast with one another. Well, Rudy Hell is gonna be going through hell right now. He's gonna have a hell of a welcoming party because as of late, Damon Spruggle has been on the roll. He's been humbling the competition left and right. Yes, indeed, Damon Spriggle has proven himself over and over again to be a top-notch competitor here in the American Wrestling Federation with great mat technique. He can brawl, he can go to the skies if he needs to. And the only thing I really don't understand is when you proclaim yourself to be humble over and over and over again, are you really legitimately that humble? Well, I don't think he's the one saying it so much. I feel like it's the people, you know? We all recognize that. It's like, ooh, 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 ooh. That's a job right there, baby. I don't think I've heard of anyone other than perhaps Damon Spriggle and myself when I do the ring introductions referring to him as humble on a third-party basis anyway. Well, I'm going to tell you right now. He's a humble guy, you know? Okay, so. I talked to him earlier, and you know, he told me he's humble, and I, I believe him. Rudy Hell now with that top wrist block trying to get some leverage here over... Damon Spriggle, who reverses the hold into one of his own, perhaps. Bending back on that wrist. So really yeah. twisting it. Definitely a challenge here for Hell in his first American Wrestling Federation appearance. Ooh. Arm drag takedown took Damon Spriggle by surprise, who heads to the outside of the ring. Well, I'll admit it, I'm surprised too. I didn't think this kid had it in him, but this Rudy Hell, you know, he's showing us something here. Damon Spriggle halfway to the concession stand, for goodness sake. He's not expecting this kind of arsenal here from the rookie. Oh, I think he's just, you know, taking his time. He's slowing down the pace. Ooh, breaks the count even, which can only, can only serve to agitate Rudy Hell and this thousand Playing plus wrestling games. fans on hand. Look at that, he's so humble. How can you deny? Oh, Rudy Hell from ooh, ooh. trying to chase Damon Spriggle out here and gets a knife edge chop for his troubles. Nice right hand there. Both of these competitors now. Ooh, nice right hand shot from Rudy Hell. Fist of cuffs of fury flying on 45 TV. I like what I see. Damon Spriggle face into that 
Canvas is now the referee's up to seven. Rudy Hell's got to hurry to get back in that ring. Oh, it looked like Rudy faked him out there. That's the not very drop. humble of him. Well, I don't think Rudy Hell ever claimed to be humble, but be that as it may, ooh. Handful of hair there from Damon Spriggle, completely unnecessary. Whoa! Nice technique there. He did a gator roll. That front headlock, nicely done. Nice snap on that suplex there. I, I can't lie, I'm, I'm kind of liking what I see here from Rudy Hell, but at the end of the day, he is not the humble one. Nice leg drop there from Rudy Hell. Trades one, the two. Two count only, folks. We step aside, Rudy Hell. Picking on Damon Spriggle, this match continues when we come back here on 45 TV. Closed captioning provided by PA Liquor, Zimmerman's home for the best everyday low prices on your wine, spirits, and beer. Located next to Subway, PA is a proud sponsor of Zimmerman Football. Stop in with your Thunder football card and save some extra money. Also remember, Wednesdays are for wine. Save 10% on wine purchases every Wednesday. Crawford Equipment is the family-owned and operated outdoor power equipment specialist in Cambridge, Minnesota. Crawford Equipment specializes in the best and latest in outdoor power products, such as loaders, tractors, utility motors, and residential lawnmowers. Brands like Bobcat, Toro, Xmark, Massey Ferguson, and many more. We also offer pre-owned equipment, rentals, and parts and service maintenance as well. Call in or stop by today. You'll be glad you did. Crawford Equipment. Located off of Highway 95 Northwest in Cambridge, Minnesota. Don't let a broken car break your wallet. Get affordable car repair service at Precision Tune Auto Care in Elk River, Minnesota. From brake repair to oil changes, pretty much any car problem you have, we can fix it. We've shopped the competition, but our rates are as low as they get. Plus, we have online specials for even lower prices. So if you've got a car problem, we've got the solution. Located at 18850 Dodge Street in Elk River, Minnesota, next to Perkins and the Academy. Precision Tune Auto Care. Ramsey Bicycle is the top bike shop in the Twin Cities, specializing in truck bikes, but carrying a vast array of other brands as well. We also carry all of the attachments and accessories you're looking for. Don't forget, we also repair and maintain your bikes. So visit us today at Highway 10 in Ramsey. Rudy Hell making his AWF debut, giving it all to Damon Spriggle. Hell ducks the clothesline, ducks another one there. Off the ropes, nobody home. Rudy Hell crashing down hard to the canvas and crashing down hard to the gymnasium floor here at Elk River. Crashing and burning. And right now, this is Spriggle's opportunity to humble Rudy Hell once and for all. Damon Spriggle pointing to that sky. Look at that. How humble of him to grace everybody here with his presence like that. Hit his signature pose. Give everybody a chance to really soak in the humbleness, soak in the humility. Yes, I'm sure that's exactly what all these people here came to Elk River High School tonight to do. Just to soak in the glory of this. I don't know if I want to call him a sociopath necessarily, but he's got these tendencies that seem a little bit off. Yeah, he's a little crazy. A little crazy. But you got to be crazy to be in this business, baby. Well, I'm sitting next to you, so what's that say about me? Well, I don't know, from one former TV champ to another, mad respect to the humble one, one, two. Near fall only after that big elbow drop right to the sternum. Damon Spriggle has, you know, shown us over and over again he can get, get it done in there, and right now it's Rudy Hill paying a bit of the price here as Damon Spriggle looking to put away the rookie here in his debut performance in the AWF. Oh man, that was a stiff shot right there with that leg kick. Ooh. Close, but no cigar. Kick out there from Rudy Hell. And Spriggle struggling to keep the shoulders of Rudy Hell down for the count of three. Well, the kid's got heart, but I got a feeling, you know, Damon Spriggle might just rip that heart right out like Kano, like the old Mortal Kombat video game from back in the day. I was a Street Fighter 2 guy, but whatever. Fair uh, enough. Damon Spriggle with that knee right into the spine of Rudy Hell and pulling back with that chin lock. Meanwhile, the fans getting the momentum behind Rudy Hell, who's trying his darndest to get back to a vertical base. How do you know they're getting behind Rudy Hell? I think they're getting behind Spriggle. Well, we'll see what sort of credibility uh, you there have we. to the viewing audience out there, and we'll let them be the judge. Well, they know How I'm the most credible commentator to ever set foot in the booth here. Yeah, not since Tony Benucci. If anyone bet incredible as him and you. 
Mr. That Credibility, leg. that's what they call me. Speaking of credible, very credible pin right yeah, there. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if it was all that credible. There wasn't a lot of weight onto those shoulders. Oh, he, which, he hooked the leg. He hooked the leg, but oh, it enabled Rudy Hell to get the shoulder up in time with a lot of time, quite frankly. I don't know. Maybe you should run a seminar. Tell this guy how to live his life. Well, Are not, you a former TV champion? I'm, I'm certainly not. I'm certainly not going to tell Damon Swiggle how to wrestle a match to his face. All right, he hit with a forearm shot to my chin, just like that one. As we see a series of them, it was right now Rudy Hell with the majority of the offense, but to the eyes of Rudy Hell. Come on, referee, get that broken up. Greco Roman Irate, gotta love it. Greco Roman Irate, give me a break. I'm sure Dan Chandler teaches that. Well, Dan Gable, I believe, invented that. I don't know. This is what I like right here. The way that Damon just slows down the pace, takes control, lets the crowd know who's boss. Lets the crowd know who's humble. Meanwhile, he's giving Rudy Hell his opponent an opportunity to catch his breath and recover as it appears Rudy Hell, the white trash luchador, ready to go toe to toe again with Damon Sprinkle. Knife edge chop fight against Mark. The action has been rough and rugged. Yes, indeed, both of these competitors pulling no punches. How much longer can they go with a Wait pace a like this, though? Roll He's up. got him. Pick out. Good technique there from Spriggle. Taking it, perhaps advantage of Rudy Held's inexperience. Lateral press. Another near fall. And that time he had the pressure on the shoulders but didn't hook a leg. So Damon Spriggle needs to find that good balance there to score the one, two, three. Just imagine what a win over Damon Spriggle could do for Rudy Hell's career right now. I say imagine because it's not going to happen, all right? The humble one is just too humble, too dominant. He's got this, and you can see it by that body slam. Beautiful. Well, I tell you what, Rudy Hell isn't going to get in there if he's not going to give it his all and think that he has a chance to score the victory here no matter the impressive resume of Damon Spriggle off the ropes. Nobody home on that elbow yet again. Rudy Hell appears to have had Damon Spriggle scouted pretty well here. Oh, he's been studying his tapes, that's for sure. Right hand connected there, duck underneath. Off the ropes comes Hell, ducks under the back elbow that time. And an elbow from Rudy Hell connecting that time. You know, the, the crowd really likes this guy. Maybe you were right. Maybe they were cheering for him earlier, too. Liking the white trash luchador here in his debut. Oh, my oh goodness. Oh, my God. That could have gone very, very badly for both competitors. Making something out of the downtown PD Brown playbook there with that one. Shades of PD Clown and D. Oh. Jiminy Willikers. Look at that DDT. Big DDT. This could be it, too, and not quite, not quite, not quite. Damon Spriggle getting that left shoulder up in time. My heart rate has got to be at 180 right now. This is just a lot to take in. I did not expect to see Rudy Hell last this long and fight this hard. Well, if your heart rate is 180, imagine what Rudy Hell's had to have been there on the precipice of his first ever AWF victory. Off the ropes. Rudy Hell now, Fireman's carry pickup. Oh, not able to get Spriggle up off his feet. Well, he's been worn down so much throughout the course of this match. Well, that's Those a very good point. clubbing close to the back. Everything Spriggle's been doing. It's to be only so much punishment a man can take. Off the second rope, into the cross body. Nice to be executed there. Hooks the floor leg two, not quite again. Damon Spriggle gets the shoulder up in time. I got a feeling this one might go to a time limit draw. Our timekeeper, uh, I presume, is keeping time. We do have do have that rumble coming up. Maybe not on this episode, but live here anyway. Indeed, indeed. Rudy Hell going up top. Is he going to do it? Ooh. High risk, no reward. Absolutely not. That was a misguided attempt there by Rudy Hell, who hits the deck hard for his troubles. But now right. can Spriggle capitalize? Damon Spriggle not able to follow up with anything meaningful or anything at all really right now. 
Well, think about what both of these guys have been through. And honestly, I think Spriggle, he's, he's measuring him up right now. He's, he's got something going on in his head right now. I can see those wheels turning. I can see those crazy guys. Bam! Oh, wow. Just took the head of Rudy Hell right off his body. And that's all. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner of this bout, my humble one, Damon Spriggle. Damon Spriggle with a massive lariat connecting there in Rudy Hell's debut here in the AWF. Unfortunately for him, is a losing one. Well, Rudy Hell impressed me, but at the end of the day, you cannot humble the humble one. He is on fire. He is on a roll. Certainly is. Damon Spriggle just so dangerous in there. And Look at him. He's got the crazy eyes. Whether you need a custom build or traditional tune-up, you need the experts at Rigs to Rods. Family owned and operated, we cover everything from big rigs and hot rods to boats, power sports, and lawn equipment. We're equipped for your custom lighting and paint jobs, custom exhaust and fleet maintenance, and we bring the same quality service and attention to detail to traditional oil suspension, brake, and tire work. Located in Princeton, from big to small, Rigs to Rods does it all. This year, express yourself the right way with Cloud9 Tattoo and Body Piercing. Clean, friendly, and competitive pricing with a tattoo minimum of $70 and piercing starting at just $40. All your traditional tattooing is provided along with touch-ups, cover-ups, and scar masking. Stop by and check out the wide range of body jewelry and pick out the right piece for you. Tony Danucci here. When it comes to tattoos, Cloud9 did mine. Isanti Rental is your one-stop source for all equipment and party rental needs. We offer the most complete line of rental equipment in the Cambridge, Isanti, and surrounding areas, including concrete and masonry tools, generators and heaters, scaffolding, and specialized construction equipment that is perfect for experienced contractors and do-it-yourselfers. And when planning your next party, Isanti's experienced personnel will ensure that your event is a success, whether indoors or out, formal or fun. For more information, visit us at IsantiRental.com. When your vehicle hits a bump in the road, trust Eastbound Auto and Diesel Repair and K&H Towing and Recovery. From expert auto repairs to reliable towing services, we've got it all covered, fast, friendly, and efficient. Our team has got it here to get you back on the road in no time. For quality care helping on the highway, choose Eastbound Auto and Diesel Repair and K&H Towing and Recovery. We offer jump starts, helpful lockouts, tire changes, ice recovery. We also offer medium duty wrecker, DOT inspections, and flatbed services. Available 24-7, 365 days a year. Falcone with a height advantage, using that to gain some leverage here with that side headlock, but JDX turned into Quite the crafty veteran. Shot to the midsection there. The ropes, nice shoulder tackle for Malvin Falcone. Ooh, but JDX, little too quick to get up there. He might have been better served to slow things down. And that's the third shoulder tackle that Justin D. Xavier has had to overcome. And that time, Falcone just stepped on the guy. How about that? On paper, when you look at the experience, when you look at the, the fundamental wrestling skills, slight edge, I think, has to go to JDX. But Alvin Falcone looking to prove that he's able to compete with one of the top stars in independent wrestling right now. Wastelock go behind there. JDX. Falcone able to do a standing switch. Off ropes. Falcone drops down that time. Big leapfrog from the big man. Ooh, look at that there from JDX. Able to have the movements of Alvin Falcone nicely scouted. What's JDX doing now? Tope two through the ropes. Incredible. Intense aerial offense from JDX. 
Do not go anywhere. The AWF returns here on 45 TV. Oh, oh yeah. Do you like your heaven to wrestle your car back on the road? You need to drop into one of our three stores. Tires Plus Buffalo, Tires Plus Wilmer, or Ultimate Tire in Alexandria. Our family-owned business offers total car care, yeah. Huh? We're also a direct dealer of Michelin, BF Goodrich, and Uniroyal Tires. Snap into one of our locations or visit our website for more information. Oh yeah. Dig it. I just love coming to Minnesota Equipment. You walk through these doors and it's just truly amazing. With the gator, the tractors, the excavator, the skid steer, and all the small power tool equipment that Minnesota Equipment provides, this farm would not function. I decided on Minnesota Equipment for three reasons. The honesty of the sales force, the quality of the machinery, and lastly, service. John Deere is very reliable, and the service at Minnesota Equipment is very personal. John Deere has a piece of equipment for every need on our farm, and Minnesota Equipment is always there to support us when we need it. Family owned and operated, Main Street Music and Electronics is your local source for all your musical needs. We sell new and used guitars, amps, drums, keyboards, pro audio and band and orchestra instruments. We offer rent to own programs as an affordable solution for parents with quality teacher recommended instruments. Professional music lessons are also available. We service everything we sell from band and orchestra instruments to guitars and amplifiers. Stop by Main Street Music and Electronics today. JDX, former AWF heavyweight champion, sending a fellow former champ back inside the squared circle. That being more than a conqueror, Alvin Falcone. Lots of buzz about this one-on-one -on -one encounter, and now it's finally back in the squared circle. Knife edge chop finding its mark there from the real McCoy. Falcone into the buckle. Ooh. Nice blow there delivered by JDX. JDX looking to climb the ladder once again here in the AWF. Potentially to get a crack at Kyle Pro for the AWF Heavyweight Championship. And that's something that Alvin Falcone who delivers that boot right there desperately wants as well. Falcone has controlled quite a great deal of this match thus far. 231 from Aspen, Colorado has developed himself into just a excellent in-ring performer. Right hand from Falcone. Suplex, yes. Falcone scores with that suplex, and I don't know for sure, but if you want to look back to 2018-2019 when JDX was reigning supreme over the AWF, you have to figure a guy like Alvin Falcone, who just looking to get his feet wet in the business, had to have been looking up at, at JDX's success and looking to see how he can find a path to have a similar, similar performance. Right now, Falcone is in control. Sleeper hold applied does not appear that it is fully cinched in. JDX indeed getting some help from these screaming fans here in Wyckoff. Right hand shot. Wow. Off the ropes comes Falcone and now JDX set to deliver a sleeper hold of his own. Ooh, but Falcone out the back door. Oh, but Xavier hangs on with the headlock. Oh, nice short clothesline delivered. Brutal, brutal maneuver from more than a conqueror, Alvin Falcone. JDX is certainly hurting. Lollygagging just over in the opposite corner of Alvin Falcone. Knife edge chop. Finds that smart. Falcone, Irish whip. Reversal by JDX. 
Ooh, look at that from Alvin Falcone. Super kick connecting. Nicely executed there, and Alvin Falcone could be on the verge of a huge victory. One, two. Near fall only, very lazy on the cover. Going to be successful here over the long term in a company as competitive as the AWF. You have to have that attention to detail in everything you do, and that certainly extends to your follow-through on a maneuver like that. Yes, that kick was phenomenal. That kick found its mark, but you're just going to half-ass it, for lack of a better term, on the cover, well, your odds aren't all that great. Falcone now. Trying to continue this offensive sequence with a fireman's carry. JDX powers his way out of the predicament. Kick there from Xavier. Another one. Ooh, ducks and blows there. Ooh, right hand from Falcone. Finds it. Smart, but as does a step up in Zagiri from the real McCoy. Both of these men laying it all out there. JDX digging deep. JDX, someone who has who has bet on himself, he has gone to other places. Then the upper Midwest to refine his craft, to get to that next level. JDX, of course, getting attention recently outside of the ring for various reasons, leading him to network cable, but not in the context of wrestling. Right hand there. Some shots from the real McCoy. Reversal by Falcone. JDX puts on the brakes with a kick there to the midsection. Oh, look at that from JDX. Sling blade there and now. This is when you can tell Justin D. Xavier's getting in the zone. The intensity on his face. Oh, calling for the crowd to show some restraint on the sound. Oh, wow. What's that? Unorthodox indeed. Second rope. No. Rolls through. It's Falcone. Spinebuster! Beautifully, beautifully done. One of the best in the game, but only enough to get a two count. Justin D. Xavier beside himself that that was two. I think deep down he knows indeed it was, but disappointed nonetheless after how just beautifully pulled off that maneuver. JDX looking. Looking to keep it going. Falcone to his feet. Who shrugged off. Drop kick there to the knee. Found its mark. Falcone now. Fireman's carry. Oh, just planted JDX right on his knee. That's got to be all. Up to the leg. No. Two and seven eighths. JDX gets the shoulder up just in the nick of time. And Falcone's dumbfounded. Didn't get him there, but considering the damage was done to the shoulders and the upper spine and the cranium of JDX, that might be enough. Wait a minute here. Alvin Falcone is that, that powder that. JDX brings her to the ring for his pre-match ritual. The fans love. He can't, he can't have this powder in the match. He's got it in his hand. Oh no! Miscalculation by Alvin Falcone. JDX just pancaked. Alvin Falcone and that's it. Big win by JDX. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of this bout, the real McCoy, J.T.